YouTube. I was talking to my brother the other day, and you know he was telling me how he would watch some of my videos. He liked the overall word I was putting out, and how he liked how I was helping people out. But he thought how I viewed women was just toxic. He thought how I treated women were toxic. And it made me think. Because women also view men as being on their purpose, on their grind, as having toxic masculinity. And it just doesn't make sense to me until I, I finally started to really think about it. You know, women, they just don't want us... To be aware of who they truly are. They want you to believe. That you will one day get them. If you keep chasing them. You will one day get them. If you confess all your feelings for them. You know. She will be telling you. Okay you know Monday. You know you told me how you felt. But you know I'm feeling emotional. And I'm, I'm, I'm having doubts about how you feel about me again. You know please tell me your love. Your highness. It's like come on. Like, women will will use you because you let them. And that's the real toxic thing about it. It's toxic that women don't tell you who they're really attracted to. They don't tell you they're attracted to the guy who doesn't give them that much attention, who, who is mysterious, and who is real busy. She doesn't tell you that. She tells you to, she's attracted to the guy who will do anything for his girlfriend. And you are that guy who is doing everything in your power to try and get her. And you want to know what she tells you? She tells you, oh, I don't know why you don't have a girlfriend. You know, girls would die to have you. But do you want to know why she's not with you? It's because she does not want you. She's not attracted to you. See, she views us as men who are on their purpose and on their grind as toxic so the rest of the betas in this world can agree with them they'll agree that oh yeah you shouldn't be on your purpose you shouldn't be more focused about yourself and where you're headed in life but instead you should be focused on their chick that's toxic because she thinks we're manipulating them but nah that's not what this is about this is living our life without worrying about a chick. This is living our life worrying about our bills being paid, where we're headed in the future. This has nothing to do with women. Women is just a factor of our success. Because they're gonna chase us regardless because they know we're on the right path. It's toxic because she's the one manipulating you to thinking we're the bad guys. That we're the ones breaking their hearts because we're just not focused on a relationship right now. We don't have time for those. She's manipulating you thinking we're the bad guys because she just doesn't want you to know if you become that type of guy, then that's how you have her. Because once you have her, she can't use you anymore. And what I mean by having her is, it just means knowing whenever you want to see her, you know if you just hit her up, she will come through. Because you can never own women out here. You know, we only have turns. We only have turns. You know, women tell you they want you to keep chasing them, keep chasing them. Keep chasing them. They're having doubts and insecurities on where you stand. But you just told them the other day how you felt. You wrote them that big paragraph. You sent them some money. You bought them some food. You picked them up from their job. You dropped them off at a girlfriend's house. You're doing everything in your power. Everything. To make this girl yours. And if she's already your girlfriend. She's just using you for your non-sexual attention. Because when you agree to a relationship. All you're saying is. Okay, you know, I would deal with your emotions. I would deal with all your baggage, all your drama, all the shit you have going on in your life. In exchange, once a week, you know, we need a sexual act. And then you shake on it. That is a beta ship. That's a beta ship. There's nothing wrong with having relationships, 
But if you're having her lead the dynamics of things, that's going to be a beta ship because you're not in control. You have to be in control of all things you have control over. You have control over who's in your life, how the dynamics of the relationship plays out. You have control over who she sees. You don't allow no male best friends. You have control over that. A lot of people think, oh, you must be insecure. That's not insecurity, just being smart. You know what it's like to be that girl's best friend. You know the reason why you're that girl's best friend is because you want to fuck that girl. But she's not gonna let you. She's gonna put you in that best friend role. And then women play naive like they don't know their best friend wants to fuck them. And then when you, the beta boyfriend, comes along, you say, yeah, yeah, go hang out with your boyfriend. You know, I'm not like the rest of these men. You are, though, because you know why she's hanging out with him. And you know why he's hanging out with her. That's toxic. Because she has you believing and thinking what she wants you to believe and think in. Come on, we just have to just be about ourselves. This has nothing to do with women. You know, I'm too focused on where I'm headed in life. I'm too focused on, you know, where I wanted to move to. The type of car I want to be driving. I'm too focused on building the ideal house I have envisioned in my head. And for me to have all those things accomplished, you know, for me to get my, my dream physique... I have to put the work in. I have to keep grinding, keep grinding on my passions and purpose so I can see that income start to flow. And it just so happens I have a lot of that shit going on. I don't have time to give her my non-sexual attention. And all non-sexual attention is anything you're doing for her and telling her that has to do with anything besides sex or anything sexual. You know, I just don't have time to give her any of those things. You know, I don't have time to fall asleep on the, on the phone with a girl for, for, for days straight. And I don't have time to write this girl paragraphs. You know, there's nothing toxic about being about your shit. You know, it feels good to know you're seeing results. Because once you start to see those results, you become addicted to them. You become addicted to want to keep keep grinding on yourself and seeing the self-improvements show. And the only thing that's toxic is what women want you to believe in. Come on.